Okay, today I thought it'd be fun to try the speech recognition chip that I'm using in these electros, but with different voices. Now, if you've watched any of the other videos where I show how we built these and when we led up to it and all that, you actually saw me program the chip with my voice. See right? I haven't changed it. That's the way the chip is programmed. Now, um, there's some other differences as well. This gold one, for example, this was my uh, experiment using the N20 motor. And we're going to talk more about that in a minute. And the uh, silver one back here has got the uh, TT motor in it. But we're, again, let's just have some fun with the voice part first. Let's see how well it works. What I've done is I went online, typed in text to voice translator, and I found a free one. And on the free one, I downloaded two different voices telling uh, Electro to walk and then a handful of voices telling them to stop. The reason I did more stop is because <laughs> I want to make sure I can make it stop. And I'm, care I'm carefully not saying the phrase right now because I don't want to activate it with my voice. But I'm uh, ready to go. <clears throat> I'm quite a ways away from the microphone if that's why I sound hollow. But uh, I got to get over to the computer is why I'm a little ways away from the microphone. And this is the uh, first um, text to voice that I got in this should make him walk. Electro walk forward. Okay, now let's try one of the stop ones. Electro stop walking. So far so good. Let's try one of our other uh, walk ones. Electro walk forward. And yeah, try a different stop. Electro, stop walking. Then I'll try my own voice. Electro, walk forward. And let's try yet another stop. Electro, stop walking. So far, so good. I guess I've got one more stop one we can try just to see how it does with all of these. <clears throat> Electro, walk forward. And here we go. Electro, stop walking. So, it really doesn't matter who says it. Now, I didn't try people with drawls and dialects. I picked those ones because it, they were the voice generated from my text that ran the words together the least. Many of the text generators seem to really run all the words together. We kind of needed to get all of that separated out and working. So now let's talk about, just briefly, the difference between these two. While I was waiting <clears throat> for the TT motors to arrive, I'm sorry, waiting for the N20 motors to arrive because I figured they were quieter and then you probably heard just right now it is it is quieter. I made a few changes to make it easier because the N20 motors are so much smaller and have so much less power than the 220 to 1 TT motors. So one of the first things I did, if you've watched the builds and everything, you'll notice normally the feet we're touching together, they're under pressure. So now <clears throat> I went in and I changed, and you can change this if you've already downloaded the files. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a frog in my throat. The uh, gear motor frame, main frame, I changed that so that the legs would be separated just a bit so there wouldn't be a bunch of friction between the legs, I'm trying to make life easier uh, again for the, for the N20 motor. And then uh, I also noticed that uh, one of the gears, the large gear on the leg cam on this side that runs the smaller gear, which drives the gears in the chest, uh, there was a place when it would come around on that leg cam where that gear that simply just drives these gears in the chest would could rub and hang up. Not a problem at all for the TT motor. It's got so much dang power. But I didn't want to chance that being a problem with the uh, N20. So I modified uh, that gear cam just ever so slightly so that that doesn't rub. So I remove friction there, remove a, a friction point there. I had a little bit of a friction point with the cam on this side. And some of that has to do with making sure that you clear, because when this motor frame piece prints, there's some uh, support material there. Make sure you've cleared all that out so that this foot, this leg, can go all the way forward without jamming because if it even jams a little bit <clears throat> the uh, N20 will kind of run out of power at that point. So after having done all that and the N20 motor arrived I noticed that the robot was better but it still was having some trouble 
with the stop command because that's when the motor is running and the microphone still had to overcome the noise from the motor. So they tried one last thing, which is what I should have tried as my very first thing, is that I printed a little cap for the bottom of the head. You know, the head's hollow because I've got to be able to get the LEDs in there, I've got the microphone in there, and I even shoved the speech uh, recognizing chip in there. Anyway, I printed a cap that seals the head off. So it's now got a cap glued to the bottom of the head. Before, I was just using foam rubber. And that made all the difference in the world. All of a sudden, I could stand anywhere in the room and I could either whisper or I could yell. It didn't make any difference and it worked just fine. So I went, hmm, if that works so good with the uh, N20, how good would it work with the uh, TT motor that I already had? So with the TT one, I already had you know designed that new bottom which would work in there. So I went ahead and put that in to separate the legs. And other than that, I just added a plate to the bottom of the head. This is the uh, AI generated head. That head over there is the one that's designed in CAD. And plugged off the bottom of the head just to see how things would go. And this motor is a lot louder, but Electro walk forward. Electro stop walking. Works perfect now. The simplest thing, I, I was trying to block the sound off getting to the microphone from inside by using foam rubber, but in the end, the best way to uh, block the sound off was simply to plate, uh, print a plastic plate and glue it to the bottom of the head. Worked great. So, I think that was about all I was going to say. Oh, I was going to say that there's wasn't any uh, the other difference between these two robots. Um, the first one here is running just on the two AA batteries, which means there's a, a boost circuit in there to boost that three volts up to the five volts for the uh, voice recognition circuit. Whereas on this one, I'd already converted over to three AA batteries, so it gives me four and a half volts, and then I don't need the boost circuit. So that's one more difference between the two. But I was going to say the M20 version doesn't really make sense because the N20 motor 3 volt at 30 RPM is the one that I put in here. It was the slowest RPM with the dual shaft that I could find. They're really expensive. I mean, if you check on Amazon, they're anywhere from uh, a little over $12 to a little over $36 for one little stinking motor. Now, if you get them off uh, AliExpress, you can get them a lot cheaper. There are Still not anywhere near as cheap as a TT motor, but they are in the five, six, seven dollar range, and uh, so I don't think there's any reason to go with the expensive N20 motor, which is uh, really expensive when you can just get the TT motor for a, a buck and a half or two bucks, especially if you buy them in a package quantity where they're selling you five or six of them for ten or twelve dollars. Very inexpensive. Works just fine. I do like the idea of the three batteries instead of the two because it simplifies the circuit not needing a boost circuit and it's also going to make the battery life last longer because you've got less things going in there and the uh, speed at which it walks because now the TT motor is going to be able to get four and a half volts instead of just three. All those things I think are in the favor of going that way. So um, as soon as I can get enough time I will upload a new file to Thingiverse uh, with the changes that I made for separating the legs, the uh, three AA battery, and um, link it to this video for people that want to uh, do the uh, speech recognition. I, I guess in the bottom of this video there'll be links to all the previous videos that led up to this so that you can sort through it and see how to do it and how to work it and all that good stuff.